Race against the clock for James Wilbur and dozens of others camping at Wallace Marine Park in Salem. With the Willamette River rising, water is flooding the park and nearby homeless camps. It's exciting, frustrating, it's heart-wrenching. Not, not just for me, but, but for all the people that are, you see the emotions that they're going through. The 51-year-old Wilbur's in good enough shape that he's evacuating on his own. Others, though, had to be rescued by first responders, as you see in this video. A lot of people got physical ailments that stop them from working and stuff, and then they got to move. It's insane. Conditions weren't any better south of Salem. Albany Fire had to rescue two people trapped on an island near Simpson Trail Park on the city's northeast side. Firefighters rescued another four people and two dogs from a home on Highway 34 in Corvallis. I'm unclear as to when the water became so dangerous in their eyes. They didn't really give us a timeline on that, but when they knew the water had hit the second landing of a set of stairs, it was time to call. And it's really no surprise when you look at the area from above. Sky 8 gives us a bird's eye view of the widespread flooding. Notice the store that's sure to have some interior damage when the water finally recedes. And check out this pickup truck rendered useless in the rushing water. It's a time to stay away from the Willamette right now. Advice James Wilbur is taking to heart back at Wallace Marine Park in Salem. He's moving to higher ground, but where exactly? I don't know yet, I haven't got that far. And wherever uh, James Wilbur goes, he'll, he'll likely have to stay there for a couple of days. Uh, the Willamette River down here in Salem is not even at its highest point yet. Back to you. Well, we really feel for those people affected there, Mike. Thank you.